Yep, 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 yep. There we go, folks. <laughs> it's official now. This is Mike, everybody, from Mike's Magic Resto Detailing and Paint Enhancement here in another sunny day in Sharksburg, Georgia. There we have it. There we have it. All right. The um, <laughs> Black 41 Ford truck I've been working on has gone off to be in a wedding. He said he'll bring it back either tonight or tomorrow. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't care. I don't care. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is his daily driver, I guess you might call it. It is a, according to the door tag, a 2010 Ford Focus. Not a bad little car, I understand. Uh, and I think I have worked on this car before. I'm not positive if I've done this one for him. I've done so many cars for this customer. I just can't remember. I know I've done other cars. I may have done this one in the past. But as you can see, it, it, you know, it passes the 10 foot test okay. <laughs> I still got some shining gloss left on it. But you can tell it has been a while since this car has been washed, I think, I suspect. <laughs> there are a number of stuff on this car. <laughs> Including like, I don't know if y'all could see that real good. It looks like somebody sat something on the hood that left something behind, like spray bottles or something. I don't know. Some contamination there. And my goal is, I'm just going to do kind of as an experiment, just a real quickie wash on this thing. But I'm going to do it a little differently than most detailers do. Just because I want to improve it for him, just as a a gift. Not only is he a good, good, regular customer, brings me lots of nifty cars, but he's also turned into a pretty good friend. So while I got this car here, I figured I'd spiff it up just a little bit for him. Uh, so I'm going to do what some might consider just a little unorthodox clean up on this car and as I mean there's stuff all kind of stuff has landed on this car that looks like I don't know what that is but there are plenty of bug guts and all kind of stuff on here Ooh. <laughs> a lot of bug Bug splatter and other stuff on the windshield, <laughs> wiper arms <laughs> here, a lot of road splatter down the sides. The roof isn't too bad, not too bad, but I'm going to do this a little differently. You can kind of see some of that stuff there. <laughs> Oh, man, I just want to clean it up a little bit for him, make it look a little more presentable. You can see as we get close, the road film that's on there, splash up from the tires. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what they call a pre-soak on here with some rinseless wash solution in my foam cannon. It's not going to be a thick foam because what some of the experts tell me is you actually want that stuff to just kind of run down and so that it, what dirt it removes, it just runs off. When it's a really thick foam, it just sits there. If you pre-rinse this first with your pressure washer, your water hose or whatever it is, all this dirt and stuff that's on the paint, you'll just push it across the paint, and they tell me that alone will scratch it. I, I've never experimented to see if that's true, but, uh, you know, these are some of the experts, some of them I've talked to, and I trust them. So, uh, 
it makes sense to me. So I will pre-treat it with the foam, a rinseless wash foam, or maybe even something a little stronger. Uh, but they tell me when you put any product into the foam cannon, it dilutes it automatically, like 50 to 1 or something like that. Crazy. So I'm going to try some stuff and see what happens. Then we'll rinse that off. And then all this stuff like this, these bug guts and all that kind of stuff, um, I'm going to use Citral 266 to get some of that off if I can. But after I do the foaming, I will most likely just do a quick chemical decon on this. Hey, Mr. Rick. And just to get rid of some of the iron deposits that I feel certain are on this paint. Since this is a quickie job, I'm not going to do the clay bar and all that other stuff. And when I get to my rinseless wash contact wash I'm going to be using this stuff right here which is what I used on that black 41 truck just to give it a good shine and that's what I want to do with this what this does it's a typical rinseless wash with the surfactants and the lubricants in it and everything actually they say that this is a much safer method of contact washing your vehicle than traditional two bucket contact wash with the mitts and the hoses and all that kind of stuff but what this does is it leaves a thin layer of SiO2 on the surface which will improve the shine and gloss Rick and provides some protection now it's not a long term protection as if I had panel prepped it and went back and put a high grade sealant or a coating or something like that on there or even wax I, I feel certain like the conditions this car lives in, which it's a daily driver. I don't believe it's garaged. It sits outside a lot. I think that this stuff will probably last at best under those conditions a couple of weeks. But hey, if you live like in an apartment complex or in an area where they do not allow outside washing of your car, or if it's the dead of winter, or if you're just in a hurry and you want to add a little protection, it doesn't matter if your car is ceramic coated or what it is, you can use this and when you dry it, it will leave a high level of gloss and shine as evidence. If you go back, Rick, and look at my videos, the last couple of ones on that 1941 Ford pickup that belongs to this customer so anyway I'm just I'm gonna do a quick run around of the wheels and tires first I always start there because you don't want to get the car clean and then start doing all this nasty stuff and have it splash back up on your car and you have to do it again I always start with the wheels and tires first that's my recommendation <laughs> and if I have time I may do some headlight restoration for him. As you can see, these headlights are in pretty bad shape. Now, I feel certain some of that is on the inside. Because what you're seeing there, that's moisture on the inside of the lens. And when this headlight heats up and that moisture starts to go away, it kind of damages the inside of the lens. And there is really no practical way to fix damage to the inside of these. There is a way, but it's long, complicated, drawn out, and most of the time, it's just easier and cheaper just to get a new set of lights. But we may see, if we have time, Rick, what we can do with those. <laughs> I want to try to get all this junk off if I can. Can you see all that stuff, Rick? <laughs> uh, this car hasn't had a good wash in quite some time. A lot of stuff down here. But I'm just going to do it as quick as I can. And it'll be a little different than what most, what I call normal detailers do. Yeah, I am not normal. <laughs> most of them get exasperated when they follow along with what I do. Because they know they can't 
and don't have the time to do what I do. I don't think there's anyone in this area that I'm aware of, Rick, that does what I do. I just don't think so. Uh, you know, normally I would, you know, recommend after you get through washing all that to, and chemical decon to clay bar this and then panel prep it and then do a minimum of what I like to call a one-step polish, which this one is not terribly scratched. I can't remember if I buffed this car before or not. I just don't remember. I just don't remember. But it is absent a lot of the micromarring I normally see on these cars. It's a little hard to see on this gray paint. But I just don't really see it. Not a lot of it. But this car would greatly benefit from a, at a minimum, an all-in-one polish or a one-step polish. It would really make it pop. But we ain't going to have time for all that. Like I say, this is a freebie. I'm just experimenting, playing around. But I guarantee you when I get done, this car will look at least twice as good as it does now. And it will end up with a little bit of protection on it. Which feeling of this paint, I mean, it's all nasty, dirty, dusty. I can't really tell if there's any uh, protection on it or not. And it's really hard to see the scratching when it's covered with a total layer of dust and road grime like it is now. It's hard to see the scratches. I'll be able to see them better once it's relatively clean. Yeah, this is not going to be a top tier detail, but let's... Let's just see how good we can make it look. What do you say, Mr. Rick? Thanks for dropping by. Good to see you, brother. We'll catch y'all later. Bye.